Hey, welcome to part 97. On the last episode, we got Golden Skull Tillis. And now it's time for heart pieces. And just to switch things up, I'm gonna start with the adults. So you see, I'm in the northwest part of Hyrule. Feel like this is free. Oh, there it is. Water. your life points. Thanks. Thanks a lot. Alright, so, sorry, I should have explained. We're not going to be doing the ones that are um, mandatory. Well, they're not mandatory, but you got to be like um, the dungeon ones, for example. So, everything in the dungeon, we're just going to leave alone, but this is all like the optional ones. You get what I'm trying to say? I mean, they're all optional, but like, the ones, not the ones they throw in your face. There. We're going to be getting those starting with the adults, so it'll be kind of jumpy around. So, let's just have at it. Further ado, let's go. Alright, here we are, Kakariko Village. The first one. Just get 50 gold Skulltillas. Pretty much it. All I really need to point out there. The next one, I'm actually just going to go straight to, is we need to get on top of a house. So, you could... There is a way to do this with Hookshot, but... I'm, yeah, I said that right. With Hookshot, but I'm just going to cheat and show you how to do it with long shot, just because it's quicker and easier. Okay, and then I need to... Ah, that'll do. Okay, hop to that one. Come on. Oh, that didn't do it. There we go. Hop onto that one. And then finally, hop onto the purple roof. Talk to him. He's lonely. He's lonely because his pants are all... That is a messed up kind of plaid right there. To get a good view, use Nye and look around with Nye. That is a good view. It's a very good view. Alright, sorry. The next one is, once again, really close by. Come on. Ah. It's in the windmill. We actually got this one already. We actually have, I've gotten the past two already. Well, no. Sorry. For, yeah, past two. I can say that. So, I, I've actually gotten this one too. Basically, you do Dampe's race and you get up there. The heart piece is right. I'll shoot that instead of point out with my finger. Right there. So either A, you can come here as a child and boomerang it, or B, finish Dampe's race, climb on top of that, or jump there, or C, once you get hookshot or long shot, which you will if you finish Dampe's race, just hookshot it. Alright, on to the next one. Alright. See, I think it's Dish Grave. Yep. Let's go in. We might have gotten this one already. Oh, man, we haven't. Do do do. Do do do. Oh, no. Guess we haven't. And then the re dead gets stunned. Time is like, psh, sure hope it doesn't wake up. What do we get? What do we get? <laughs> and just because I'm murderous. <laughs> Alright, on to the next one. Okay, now there's actually two ways to do this one. You can either stand on the grave and hook shot the box, which is likely, or you can just do this. I made sure during the last video that we got all the bean spots, and there will be a heart piece right there. I just took it. So, on to the next one. Actually, actually, I didn't even really need to move that far. This one is fun, really. Ugh. Ish. We gotta race him again, and this time get a minute or less. Which is nice and irritating. The last time I messed up every now and then because I hit fire. Ah! You yeah, remember that part where I said every now and then I messed up? Yeah. This one might take you more than once. Navi, not now. Navi. 
So, uh, we need to go save Zelda. Navi, I'm being focused right now. This is an incredibly important moment for Navi. Let's see about the bunny hood. I did. Bunny hood my way around. Ah, come on. I think I failed. Yep, I did. You have to get in a minute or less. Is there any way to make yourself faster? Nope, not really. Maybe I can arrow. <laughs> Alright, let me just keep trying. I mean, you guys know how the race is. You, if, if you're watching this guide, you've probably already done it. But it's just the thing that you gotta do it faster. Which is hard. I'll be honest, it's tough. See, the trick is to hit that... Is to hit that... Um, the torch. If you hit the torch, you can actually even beat him. But mainly, you just gotta get under a minute. Which is hard. Alright, I'm gonna keep trying. Do it? Does he count it? Please count it. Please count it. You're back, young man. Yes, yes, yes. For the part where he said I hate this, I take that back. I'm sorry, I'm just saying that it's like hate, rage, discontent. Oh my goodness, that was terrible. It's already been for me 28 minutes. Just on that one episode, just on that one thing. Alright. There's a few more in Kakariko Village, so onward to that. Oh, hey, it's you too. What an annoying person interrupting us like this. Don't you agree, my love? You're a jerk. Why are you all such jerks? It's not rock. I'm sorry, I'm, get, I'm, get, I'm getting distracted, but. What? No, nothing. Alright, sorry. Back to white. Alright, time for the next one. We need to get to that hole. To do that, I got a plan. Gonna do this. And then this. That didn't work. This. That inverse, they did work. Go into the little hole. Probably creates quite a nasty. And I'm stuck here. Alright, good. Hi, Moo Moo. Alright, on to the next one. Alright, now for the next one, just ride this bean, jump off there. That's it. Heart piece should be right there, but I'm just gonna keep riding it as I can. Yeah, it, actually, nah, that's a long walk. Oops, wrong one. Um, but yeah, it's just on that ledge right there. Not hard. Once you st once you start riding the bean, you'll go. Oh, alright, here it is. Allow me to change the theme. <laughs> Alright, the next one is just right when I get in. I wanna I've been at this for a while now, so I might be like a little bit more. Just go there, just go there, just go there. <laughs> just cause, 
you're dead. I, I shouldn't be, but I am. I'll admit it. All right, over there, you can just climb straight down. In fact, you might pass it with what we're about to do. Okay, how does this plant survive? Oh, hey. Then it'll go over there. The lower down, there should be a hard piece in there. I don't know what that was. Can we do that at the end? Okay. There we go! That one was driving me nuts because I was sitting here thinking, like, I swear I can just you know, go on. Oh well. Alright. Let's see, let's see what's on to the next one. Alright, now the next two, there's a few ways to do it, so I'll just bean over. Just gonna jump here. Tell you. Okay, the first the first one is see that platform right over there? That like little square one sticking out? It's either that one or that one. I mean we already got it. You can either A use chickens to fly over it, which is a decent strategy. Or B, you can do what I just did and either hover boots or just jump onto it. I mean what you normally do is you take the chicken and you run over and you jump over there and then you jump onto that platform to leaf and then you jump to whichever one it is. But you don't have to, you can do it that way. The other one is just a little bit down the river. Once again, in either or, you don't have to be an adult to get it, but you will need the chicken, or the hover boots, or the chicken. So, give me a second, I'll be right there. See where I am now? Just right at the end? That is where the last one is. Right there. Get it. <laughs> so you need a hover boots or a chicken to do it. Alright, on to the next one. Alright, here we are, it's Zora's Fountain. I actually should have nailed this one earlier, but I didn't. Sorry about that. Last one, I'm really considering just saying, and there it is, and leaving it. But I better not. I mean, I'll at least get to it or get near it reasonably. Hey. There we go. Should be on this platform. And the next one is. Midair! Hold on, I gotta. Bloosh. So I'm not expecting to find, like, the body of Jabu Jabu. What happened to the dude? Somewhere down here, you'll find a lot of... Oh, there he is. There it is. See, a lot of green rupees, which really isn't that great. More importantly, this harpies! Alright, good. Let's head to the next one. Okay, here we are. Alright, here we are. Break. Jump. We need to get to down there land. And to do that, we need to... Can I just... Oh, I can! <laughs> I was like, ooh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get away with this. Yeah, manly! Yeah. I'm so manly. Strike me is very much not worth it. <laughs> but hey, what is that? A red, four. Oh, only three. Rip off. What is it only? 39. So, don't kick me off the platform. Okay, see that? But what is inside it? You at heart, please. Yes. Alright. That's not it. We need to head to that waterfall. Now we might be able to make it through there. We might. Might. Maybe. Swan dive. Ow. Okay, now the current will normally take you. Normally. You know, if you're normal. We're not normal. We're awesome. Really? Are you, are you not gonna let me out? Oh wow, that's really jerky. Alright, great. I was gonna start talking about how it's at the... Is there like anything? Oh wait, maybe there is. What do you mean? Get to the 
the surface of the. Why is there a boulder? Nope, I'm out. Alright, gotta go down the water. Peace out. We'll get back there in a moment. Oh, wow, I gotta go all the way around. They're, yeah, they're gonna make me go all the way around. Jerkwads. Okay. Is that the correct term? Jerkwad? It should be. Alright. I'll be right back. I'm gonna get back over to that platform. Get the second heart piece, because there is another one, and it's in the waterfall. I actually decided for a change of pace instead of, you know, just going back. Just do this. We already got this one, but it's a nice, quickie one. I have hover boots on because I was trying something silly that I will not elaborate in. Come on. There we go. Alright, so basically, stand on this. And it should be on that arc. I'll jump onto it to show you. Magic bean! You see, that's a little white thing. F trails behind me. It's really cool. So you just jump on top. I, I messed up. I missed it. But that's basically how you get it. Wow. You got actually on the ground. All right. Back to Grudu. Back to Grudu Valley. I only came here. So, you know, I actually I had an actual distance to run. You know, I was like, well, you know, I'm actually far away enough. I might as well just. Might as well just go here. Go Temple of Time. Grab Epona. Head back. It's a near attained one. Actually, I'm gonna do everything else and then do that one last, just because it's so irritating. All right, so give me a second. I'll be right there. I think I'll be able to fall on top of that from that side. Right, right, right. First, let's just grab these two. I mean, might as well. If they're here. Touch my leg. Alright. Here we are, Guru Fortress. There's one I will show you in a second, but first I want to show you the horsey one. I'm not going to redo it because it was painful to, to do. If you go over here, there's a horseback archery mini game that the. I think if you get a thousand points, you get a heart piece, 1,500, you get the biggest quiver. Just want to show you that quick. Because the next one I'm doing, I don't want to have to like get back all the way to Groovy Valley again. Alright. Break! Navi is just like, hey, we should save Zelda. I'm like, guys, calm down. I bet like everyone is screaming at me. Why don't you gotta go save Zelda? I'm like, guys, it's okay. Everyone just calm down. It's gonna be alright. How is it gonna be alright? Interdimensional video game time loop. Really? Yeah, really. The pre. And one of the things it guarantees is that nothing happens until I get there. Because I am the main character. That's messed up and makes no sense. Yeah, but it's how we roll. Alright, so the next one is in that chest right over there. There's multiple ways to get to it. I'm just showing you, you know, the basic way. Can I even reach it? Ah, so close. So you go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And then... Oops. Then you hook shop here, and you get a hop here, and he goes high. And then you open it up. Alright, now to get that really irritating one, because I'm not sure what's going to work again. Okay, give me a second. Alright, I think I should be able to make this. Maybe. I really hope so. If I'm wrong. <laughs> if I'm wrong. Things ain't gonna go so well. Thank goodness for being able to control myself in midair. Ah, yes, victory. Cow lady is gone, but the bean is not. What? Oh, thank you. That was nice. Of you. Take away my man down. Oh, that was it. Come on, come on, come on, come on, please. Thank you. Thank you, God. Okay. Let's say if it didn't let me be like, I'm gonna kill myself that I'm gonna stab something. That's better. 
And look at there, there are the harpies. Awesome. Now how many more do I need to get? I only need to get three. But my list, my list is still a bit extensive. Alright, I think it's time to turn to a kid. So, be right back. Alright, here we are. First, there's this mini game, Bomb Chew. One of the random prizes is a thing. Is a piece. The other one is this one, I think. <laughs> Ouch. Yep, this mini game. Wait till you get a. Um, to Bomb Chew is just like a target practice game. I'll have a link for it in the description. And the other one is uh, get the Eye of Truth, get the keys. Fairly simple. I need this dog. You, doggy. Doggy. No, I, I need... need this one. Alright, good. Come on, doggy. The doggy will follow you. Which is it's a good thing as much as a bad thing. It's a good thing because it's stinking adorable. But it's a bad thing because, like, they'll join you in the bomb chew game and they'll get in the way of the bomb chews. It's so irritating. Especially when you're trying to do angled shots. Somewhere back here, there's a lady whose puppy is lost, and I'm fairly certain I just grabbed the right one. Ma'am? You're not ma'am. It seems strange that packs of dogs roam our streets at night. Does that seem weird to you? Dogs following me. Yes, and they're all terriers? <laughs> I just assume that's because it's a cool place. Cool places have cool stuff. That door I can't tell. That door I can't tell. That that door still can't tell. Yeah, whatever. Oh, hi, lady. Arg, that is not my dog. How could you mix up my puppy with a mutt like that? Leave, dog. Oh, good, he stays. <laughs> it's like, get out. I have no need of you anymore. Back alley. No. So always sell his bomb shoes. No. All right, now we need to grab a different dog. To grab a dog, you just... It's white. There, there, that one. Might be that one. Hey, you. Keep nudging it. Uh, keep bumping into it, and then eventually it'll be happy and it'll follow you. Yep, it's following me. I'm fairly certain it's a white dog. Let's see. How do I know it's a white dog? How do I know it's a white dog? It's, um... That lady you see her in the street. She has a white dog. Therefore, it must be a white dog. There we go. Richard! This is my little Richard. Thank you, thank you. I'll give this to you as a reward. I don't know how you got this, but I'll take it. All right. So, on to the next ones. All right. Now we're in the Lost Woods. There's two. I'm going to get over here. There's that skull kid. Play a serious song to him. You'll say, oh, you're a friend. A serious, serious, serious friend. And then he'll give you a heart piece. The other two is a little bit trickier. There's a target. Hit it. You get bullet bags. I already know that, though. Oh, I can't jump over it. Get on there. Let's see. Stand on it. Two skull. Whoa. They look freakier skull masks on. Pretty much play a game as Simon says, but you gotta win three times. And it gets tough. At first, you're just like, oh yeah, it's easy, but then all of a sudden, you're like, trying to figure it all out. Alright, on to the next place, which is Longmont Ranch. Let's go. Watching you. Watching me. Sorry. All right, now we're in Lon Lon Ranch. You head to the far corner of this weird little silo that, you know, it's very easy to forget about. See some cows, see some moo moos. And what is this? A bunch of boxes, a quick puzzle game. A quick block puzzle. Real quick, you know, it's not hard. Actually, um... Oh, oops, sorry. Actually, if you, um, if you just recently watched the last video, which was the Golden Skulltilla, I don't, 
Yeah, I just tried to come up with a clever title on the spot there. All I could figure out was Golden Skull Tilla Race. <laughs> sort of failed. But anyway. <clears throat> if you just watch that, like, just right now, watch that, then you'll see that I actually did this before. But I'll do it again. Oh, oh it's actually pretty big. I'll push this so you can see it. A little crawl space. Go to a crawl space, which I have no idea what lives in here. But on the hay, you'll find our piece, which is pretty cool. Alright, on to the next place. Right. Here we are at the fishing pond. All you have to do is catch a fish that's nine pounds or bigger. That's it. Simple as that. However, it's tricky. Watch the fishing video. It'll do a better job explaining. Alright, on to the next place. Blah. Blah. Welcome to Lake Helia. Alright, what you have to do is you have to light the torches, which I've already done, and you get a heart piece. And I'll show you where the torches are. I'll just quick run through. Literally, I'll just go through comfort. There's those torches, this torch. Those are fish. That's a torch. Let's see, keep going. There might be a torch down there, but I guess it. This is the main torch that you get from. But if you go to the top of the stairs, there should be one already lit. Yep, here it is. They're both already lit. You light that one, and then you're just going to run around and light them all. Pretty simple. Kind of fun and quick. All right, on to the next one. All right, here we are. Late uh, River Zora. River. River Zora. Zoravar. Zoravar. I like that, actually. Kind of cool. All right. We need to get over there. Oh, oh dear, oh dear. Don't, don't let me... Oh, dang it. You'll see the giant frogs. Some frogs are looking at you from the water. They're actually musical. The world famous froggy quartet. I call them the Kermit Five. No, I'm kidding. Look at us. Oh dear, not this again. Sorry, what that is, is it's a fast-paced minigame where you have to, like, as quickly as possible, do the notes they are. And then what you have to do, wait, sorry, you can only do that once you learn these songs. Yep, there's five songs, and then when you play Song of Storms, they give you another heart piece, and the price of that minigame is another heart piece. So really, there's two here. Alright, so, on to the next one. I yeah, which one it is. I actually, for the past 30 minutes, have been... I actually, for the past 30 minutes, have been, like, really freaking out, because I thought I missed one, so I've been, like, going back to old places, checking... It's actually right here. Somewhere. There it is. <laughs> there it is, finally. Ah, victory. That's really gross looking water. You got gross looking water. You're like, it's my gross looking water. You back off. I don't take incriminating remarks about your water. Take that as you will. I'm like, All right, let's talk to him. All right, you win. In return for sparing me, I will sell you a piece of... Oh, one piece, ten rupees it is. I know, it's a little bit steep on my part. How about I just kill you and take it? All right, finally. Now, I have two left to show you, but I personally have one left. Which, I'll tell you, makes me pretty stinking happy. Because I've been freaking out like, Oh my goodness, it's over here, it's over here, it's over here. All right, now... There, I can never remember the song. You know, all the others, I'm like, eh, I can't figure it out. This one's like, eh, I don't remember it. Remember Dampe had a rip-off game called, um, well, I called it a rip-off game. It is a rip-off game. It's called Dampe's Heart, Heart Thrilling Tour or whatever. We actually need to play it. And I'll tell you right now, it sounds incredibly painful. So basically, we need to... Run around and we basically need to follow him on his heart pounding tour. See, so yeah, I'm gonna go through here and then come back. That way I can turn off the lights and I don't have to like go all the way around. We pretty much have to follow him around until he gets to a patch of soil and then pay him to dig it like a maniac. <laughs> he say, Take money! Just shut up and do it, my old man. See, there's so many times where he's like, Okay, evidently he knows there's a heart piece in there somewhere. He knows it. I have no doubt that. No doubt in the world. Now, since it'll disappear when I get near it. 
<laughs> There's a patch of soil. Oh, right there, there. There, there, there. Okay. What? What time is it? Are you, are you not gonna let me... Are you not gonna let me play? You're not gonna let me play a stupid mini game? I don't know what time it is. Okay. I'll just go take my money elsewhere. Because evidently you don't want... Okay, so... So, wait a little bit until it's 1820. I'm gonna go talk to, um, the clockwork soldier over there. And stay outside. So, I'll be right back. Alright, here we are in Goron land. Oh, hey, the pot's still there. I'm actually really impressed that I just tight rolled out that I'm trying. Alright, so basically what you need to do is you need to light these bottom four torches. And then... Well, see, what I did is I just threw a bomb in. Pretty much. Just throw bombs in it <laughs> until something good happens, pretty much. Pretty much is the best way to say it. And then I'll sit there and keep moving. So. Alright, back to, um... We're heading back to that one place. Whose name I can't remember. Wait, no, it's... There. Hopefully, it'll be the right time so we can play that stupid mini game. Because it's... The heart piece is in one of them. It's random. I and mean, there's other prizes, and sometimes, like, money will pop up, sometimes a pole will pop up. A, po a pole will pop out. And you might be wondering, how do you know this? Because once upon a time, I tried playing the mini game. I can't remember if I actually got the heart piece from that experience. I probably didn't. Because <laughs> I got so sick of his crap. I was like, this is so stupid. Tell me what time it is. Oh. Okay, so it goes. Alright, tell me what time it is. 12 o'clock, it has to be 18. I didn't even think of that. Because, yeah, it sets to zero. It has to be 18 to 21, which means we gotta sit outside for a little bit until it starts to turn dark. That should work. I don't know the exact ratio between, you know, like, it's, you know, what time it is. If it's like a minute, a minute, an hour, or 30 seconds an hour, or 15, it's one second an hour. I have no idea. So just give me a second, and I'll be right there. Yeah, at the correct time. Alright, now is the time. This is it. This is the final heart piece. First, get to a different position. Make sure he's actually on a patch of dirt like he is right now. Yeah, do it. Oh, thank you. Sometimes it's more than one price, though. Now. Alright, on to the next piece of dirt. Which I can't see from my current position. There we go, now I can see it. Gotta wait till he gets over there. Speed up. What is it? Oh. Do it again. Now. Okay, wait till he is almost on it. Hold on, stop. Stop, stop. I didn't see what it was. Oh. Do it again. Nope. I mean, I got money to spare. So I discovered that if I get to a higher altitude. Oh. Up, 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 up. If I can just get to a higher altitude, I can see it better. Okay, come on. Come on. Stop right there. Do it again. Now. You sure? Look, I got money to burn. How about right there? Hey, you, stop. How about right there? Oh, yes. Yes. Finally. Okay. 
The bottle episode, the bottle and happy mass episode took almost two hours. This one took almost two hours. Golden Skulltilla took almost two hours. This is ridiculous. So the next episode, I got a lot of kind of unbridled rage towards no one in particular, but Ganondorf is the nearest target to have unbridled rage towards, so he might be my favorite villain, but he's still going down. Gotta wait till the animation ends. Ah, I feel like that's in my eye. Yeah. Like, so, see you then.